when I'm cashing. Separate me from the acting. They want you to stay the same, never surpassing. And it's dripping me forever lasting. Not your regular or average. In a six speed and I'm dashing. This ain't no regular fashion. But I'm in a tracky when I'm cashing. The seat for the kicker with me today. Yo, come on. What are you man. saying, bro? Yeah, good, bro. Good, good. How did good, you come good, from good. far? No, not too far, man. Not too far. Where are you going to go? From Essex, man. Well, I actually said it, you know. Yeah, from Essex. You know, most yeah. guys don't really say bro, from Essex. It's about time, <laughs> bro, it's about time we start putting that, putting that out there, you feel me? So it's just Essex and that. Not, not, not exactly like that, but <laughs> if it comes down to that, you feel me? Why not, you know? Cool. But my fellas, people should know that, yeah, man, from Essex, you feel me? Like, I'm kind of ashamed or afraid to hide that, you feel me? I'm not knowing that. I hear that, I hear that. So you're one of the UK, dubs on the UK's fastest rising artists. Yeah. How, did it, how did it all start? Um, bro, just unexpectedly. Really and truly. You know you got to make it down to fucking Yeah, of course, I'll give that to you, I'll give that to you. So, <laughs> you know what, yeah? I remember I was chilling outside favourites, favourites chicken, innit? it? Yeah. Favourites, that's your favourites. Yeah, favourites chicken. Yeah. Still about. <laughs> so, me and my, actually one of my brethren here, yeah, called Cece, Ooh. he was doing like rap at the same time, like, he was doing his thing at the same time. Yeah. But this was when that SoundCloud and that was popping. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, obviously, I remember he was going to like studio session maybe the next day, mm. and obviously he invited me to come, mm. and I said, you know what, let me roll through, and then, Right there and then, my song got made. Yeah. I put the song out that my first song I ever made was called um, Summer Freestyle. So your first recording session, you, you put a song out? Yeah, my first recording session. That would be shit. That's a mad question because... <laughs> don't say it was good because... No, 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 it was. <laughs> no, it was, yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't even feel as if at the time yeah. I was shook or anything like that. I don't know, I just... I just put it out. Why not? Do you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? But the, the mad thing is, is that back in the day, when I was probably like in like year nine, yeah. Year, year eight, them times I've done like music, them times there, innit? Yeah. But at the same time, I was good at ball. Okay, you know what yeah. I'm trying to say? I'm and English, English. No, I'm not even angry. I'm not even angry. I'm not even angry. You feel me? Just, you know, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. No, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? But I remember I put out a song back way back when I was like a kid, innit? That's probably still on YouTube somewhere, so you don't can go and find that. You know what <laughs> you're saying? That he's not going to find it, you know? Yeah, you got to do that, you feel me? But yeah, and so then it's like, obviously, fast forward now to probably like 2016. Mm. And then I released my first single on SoundCloud, and yeah. you know what, that song, I like, feel as if in my area, it kind of just like, or just around, it kind of just, you know, done its thing, you feel me? What do you think that is? I don't know, man. I don't even know, maybe the beat, like, I don't know, like, I just, boy, I don't even know, man. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Them times yeah. that SoundCloud was popping, I put my stuff on there, and it just, yeah. you know, things kind of just went, and it? they just happened organically, organically yeah. you feel me? So, which is good. I'm curious, on all your pictures on Insta, you're always doing, I said, that's yeah. like, what does that mean? What, 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 what gang is that? Bro, I'm a true nigga, you feel me? I'm a true ass nigga, but look, it's not, it's, it's nothing to be honest, I just yeah. do it because, why not? Why not? You feel me? I don't know any other poses, it's probably something I just do that. Are you all with the pictures time. as well? I'm bare all with the pictures, fam. Where? And then look, I start doing bare gang stuff. Maybe it's all with you, yeah, I have to take about 30 pictures before I get the right one. Trust you know, me. I'm gonna say it, so yeah, I feel you. Cool. So let's talk about your music now. Actually. Yeah. How would you describe your sound to someone who's never heard you before? Um, because to me, you come across like a drill slash drill swing attack. Because the beats, but the beats, I drill. Swing. Yeah, not for real. That's crazy, bro. Like, what, what would you say? Fair. Therefore, not that you know. Oh, like, how would you, how would you say? Bro, man's on this like trap thing, the wave thing. You feel what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah. That's that's what it is. You feel yeah. me? Obviously, previously I've probably done things with that. You know sound that cadence you feel me yeah. like one of the things that kind of took me off not off but one of the things that most people probably recognize within the uk was one of my next up freestyles on mixtape madness yeah, yeah you feel me and that was true yeah it? it's got at the moment it's got like 10 mil you oh, feel me like 10 million on, I, I missed the zero, you feel me? So, <laughs> I missed the zero. So, like, yeah, that was one of the things that kind of just... And like, that was drill, you feel me? Yeah. But it's like, I need people to understand that man's not a drill artist. So what would you say? You understand that? Man, dude, it's like, it's wave team, it's track team, do you understand that? Like, it's, it's track wave team. Like, yeah, my brother, Ed Huncho... Yeah, like, the, the wave team, like... In the UK, like, one of the... My brother, Ed Huncho, yeah. he probably came up with a, um, the word track wave, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like, you know, the likes of other artists, like Young Fume, Dave yeah. Smalls, yeah. D-Block, M. Huncho, like, you know what I'm trying to say, Mastermind, that yeah. type of wave, do you know what I'm trying to say? Us yeah. man probably just, you can class it as that track wave sound, cool. you know what I'm trying to say, so yeah. Do you feel like a lot of the UK artists um, all sound the same? Be with um, I, I know my opinion on that. Okay. So, legit. Um, I don't, 
necessarily feel as if they all sound the same. Like obviously they all do. Maybe certain people might do one particular sound. Mm. Another pe- another people might do another particular sound in it. But I feel as if everybody does their own thing within that sound. Do you understand? Maybe because it has the same beat pattern or the same flow, the same rap. Like do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. People may say that yeah, it is. You know, everybody does the same thing. Yeah. But when you think about it, bro, there's so many different artists that do so many different things. Yeah. You know, that say so. But many the thing is, the, the thing is, yeah. It, just because the beat is different and the lyrics are different, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, the song sounds similar. For example, Swarms. Okay. Laika and Bally to me sound the same. Laika and Bally to you sound the to same? sound the same. They sound the same to you? Yeah. Laika Tim. Yeah. And he's copied Ambush as well. JV Scofield can't help how he sounds. You feel me? He can't help how he comes across. That's how he, that's his cadence. You feel me? Yeah. If you sound like, bro, there's like seven million people in this whole, like seven billion, sorry, people in this whole entire world. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Bro, it's, it's as if like, if JV Scofield, JV Scofield is not ambush. Yeah. Ambush is ambush. JV Scofield is JV Scofield. Mm. They may, they may like sound similar in terms of like their voice. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But they're both two different do artists. Don't you think that some artists they might see another artist mm-hmm. formula working and then think, oh, let me try and cut that formula and see if it works for me? Possibly. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, no, our artists probably don't do that mm. because artists probably do do that. But I'm not here to be looking at who's doing what, who's copying each other. I just do my own thing. So in terms of you then doing your own thing, who, who inspires your sound? Who inspires my sound? Mm. Nobody necessarily and inspires you say that, my why sound. Do you guys no, I'm gonna be so real. Like, nobody <laughs> necessarily inspires my sound. I yeah. can tell you probably people that I probably grew up listening to, yeah, yeah. but even them, they probably don't talk, they probably don't inspire my sound to this day. Mm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So for example, if we're talking about UK, like people like Skepta, Jamie, Blade Brown, etc. I grew up listening to them, you know what I'm trying to say? Scraps, nines, etc. Mm. But them not are like rappers. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Them not are rappers. Me, I do this whole when I was growing up though, I listened to a lot of American music. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? A lot of, you know, melodies, singing. At the same time rap, but I used to listen to like kind of like the Migos. If you could who can I put out like the me goes but from back day. Yeah, just say, way back before Versace. You way before Versace. Yeah, Rebo yeah, went. Like, listen, Rebo went. Oh, what's that song? What's that song with um Soldier Wear? That oh, what's that song with Soldier Wear that they've done? I forgot what it's called, didn't it? But bro, that tape where they had where it was the golden, it was yeah. gold, and there yeah. was the thread. They had like ten tapes bro, at the end. <laughs> I was listening to Migos from when Migos were like, me, bro. Yeah, Migos, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, well, like people like you know, like Nate Dogg when Nate, when nobody was doing singing, yeah. Nate Dogg was back in way back with Snoop Dogg and Warren G doing singing, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So stuff like that, you feel me? I look at, I listen to a lot of old school music as well. You know what I'm saying? It's not old school music, but like old school hip hop, you know what I'm trying to say? You know, now that I think about it, someone like um, Nate Dogg is probably someone that I've probably, you know, admired for, 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 for a long time. Would you say maybe like some of the artists you listen to as inspiration, you might have like subconsciously catted the flow or catted the formula? Mm. Ah, right, cool. You know when people, you know when people listen to my music, yeah, yeah. They say, oh yeah, D one's got flow, do, 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 flow this, flow that. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. But if I'm being so rude, yeah, somebody got probably, you know, been like, yo, he's hard with the flows, yeah. Is um, uh, take off. You feel me? From me, goes you feel me? So if that's anybody I can sell to take off. Yeah, yeah. I probably looked at take off and I'm like, yo, this yeah. brother is hard when it comes yeah. to flow. Yeah, yeah, literally. You know, and I've probably tried to just like, you know, let me try. And What's that one tune that he did like five different? Bro, <laughs> take off is that, that, that guy's a beast, bro. Yeah, yeah. That guy's a beast. So, but you yeah. know they say a lot of American artists like supposedly, I'm not gonna name no names, obviously, mm-hmm. you know, not me. Mm-hmm. Um, they supposedly sell their soul or they join the Freemasons or XYZ <laughs> for success. What's your take on that? Bro, I just get into none of that. Let me see, a certain East, East London it. artist is also mm-hmm. talking about George and whatnot, whatnot. Who, 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 who certain East London artists? I mean, let me see. I, listen, I love J.H. Simit, but he's moving a bit mad at this whole, like, George talk right now. Bro, I don't even know what you're talking about. Let me be so real. I still, like, where's he saying all this George talk? Like, it's Twitter, all, like, everything, like, socials. Listen, social media is a, is a mad thing, you know. Cops see, everything. See, social media and media. Yeah. I feel like you're dodging my question, though. Bro, <laughs> I'm being so real. No, no, obviously, I don't, I've been being so real. J.H. Yeah. Hard, you feel me? Yeah, of course. One yeah, of the yeah. hardest in the UK. 100%. I fuck with him. I understand. But it's just like, I don't necessarily know what you're talking about. You know what I'm okay, basically, would you sell your soul for success? Would I sell my soul for success? Mm. Why would I need to do that? To get to the top, top, innit? I'm going to get there. Look at someone like Jay-Z, for example. I've seen sold his soul. Yeah. Don't come after me if you're not on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. would, you, would, would you want to 
do the same to get to that level. I don't need to do that to get to that. Obviously, if there is anything about selling your soul, like, well, I don't need to do that, man. My talent will get me to wherever I need to be. Okay, man. I'm with like, God, you fool. I don't know about none of that Illuminati. Shout out God, yeah? Yeah, bro. So it's God, I'm with God, Tim. Bro. Right, cool. So let's talk about your new mixtape. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not a whole thing, you know what I mean? You have a whole thing. So your mixtape, no, yeah, no, no handout. No hand out. That's out now. So yeah. make sure you go and get that, everybody, on all digital platforms. You feel me? The waviest tape of the year. No cats. But that's, that's your claim. Isn't it? Oh, bro. Yeah, that's my claim. Make sure you go and find out for yourself. <laughs> Don't you take my word for it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what inspired that tape? Um, what inspired it? Yeah, what was the objective behind making that tape? Where? Do you know what? That's a good question. And it's a question I really want to answer right now. So, no handouts. Mm-hmm. Obviously, no handouts is... I think it kind of resonates with a lot of us. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. Um, in my case, it was just me and my team, we went for a stage from our first mixtape. It was just so smooth. Mm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? We had our own studio and our bits. You feel me? Mm. Obviously, certain things happened. Mm. Do you understand? The studio got closed down. Yeah. So it's just like we now got put into a position where uh, we just had to just find another uh, way to work. Mm. And I won't lie, it was a difficult period for us, you know what I'm trying to say, because we didn't necessarily know where to go, where to turn, in it. But, yeah, we still What do you mean through. in terms of, like, finding studios? Yeah, like finding another, yeah, finding another studio, yeah. like, studio time that was kind of, like, you know, let's say... Is there a lot of studios in Essex? Because to me, personally, I don't feel like Essex doesn't really make much music, innit? So, um, no, nah, there's not necessarily a lot of studios in Essex. Yeah. And so, uh, but... You know, you never know. One day you might just see a so anti studio oh. near you. You feel me? Oh. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. So like I said, it was just a it was just a period of time where you know we just tried to we basically just had to just do our own thing, work for ourselves, and make shit happen for ourselves. Yeah. You get me? We're straight independent. Yeah. You understand? No handouts. Yeah. Like, yeah. We had to like find ourselves. We had to like find places to go and work, basic places to do whatever time of the day. You feel me? No handouts. We yeah. put our own money into this team. No handouts. Yeah. We didn't get a handout from anybody. You feel me? So hence the word no handouts. We ain't needed no help from no one. We ain't but is that because you didn't want their help or because you wasn't offered their help? Um, because who says no to, to, to help? Do you know what I'm saying? Um, Unless it comes to like a hefty price. Um, for us here, I feel as if we've got a strong team ethos and we've got a strong team ethic. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, mm. I'm not saying that, you know, in the best way, like, look, for example, if if a label came to me, yeah, mm. like, with the right price, do you know what I'm saying? You never know. Something could happen. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. But at this moment in time, I'm really on this whole independent thing. I'm really on this whole, you know, pushing my people, my own sound. Yeah. You know, I'm really on pushing it to the people that I wanted to get to. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And just, you know, building so anti as a brand, a team, yeah. a label, a group of young black brothers who are just trying to strive yeah. and become, you know, millionaires, maybe even billionaires in this team. Do you know what I'm yeah. trying to say? And for me, that's what it is, man. Um, yeah. So in, in, in the Soanti team, what have you got? Have you got producers, writers, what have you got? No, so Soanti is basically just where anybody you see me with is so Soanti. Yeah. You may, they, even though, like, if, they, if, they're my, if they're my brother, my family, like, yeah. my virgins, you know what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah. Regardless of whether you see me one time with them, two times, whatever, whatever. Yeah. If you know that they're my brothers, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You may not see, see them with me in this music thing on camera all yeah. the time, yeah. but behind those doors, yeah, where we are, it's so anti, you feel me? So anti, it's just, that's just us. But then, mm-hmm. what I'm trying to say is, obviously, who contributes to, who contributes to the success of so the success of so right obviously, now you're, you're an artist you're obviously I'm an artist you feel me producer, my managers it. obviously my managers are there yeah. you, you know what I'm trying to say at this moment in time obviously we ain't got no artists we ain't got no producers no nothing because I still feel as if we're at the beginning of what we are trying to build yeah. you understand which is, which is perfectly fine mm. so right now it's just you know a lot of my guys you know at some point it will get to a point where you know the workload gets very very intense yeah you know so it's that some of my brothers they will be given you know the opportunity to do yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. within my team like yeah. you know to do stuff like you know tour managers like yeah, I was gonna stuff say, like cause... that you know what i'm trying to say like yeah. every like people in my team who that like, people around me that's the whole point of so i want to give my, my brothers that like, the opportunity to basically just you know do something real positive yeah do you know what i'm trying to say and doing and being in this music team look we, we'd all have to be in it okay. so, and i'm sure they would so yeah man that's basically what it's about and then at some point Artists, producers, whatever, man. 
We'll get them. So how did you actually pick the songs that went into the mixtape? Uh, I know that most artists they record like what, seven songs a day or something yeah, like that, cool. like twenty songs a week, something like that. So how do you, out of all them songs you probably recorded, how do you pick? Yeah, cool. This one's going in. This one's not. This one's going in. Um, because to you they probably all sound lit. True. So true. how do you define which ones are less lit than the other? Um, where I don't necessarily feel there's, I don't necessarily feel there's a set formula. Mm. You feel me? I just we just listen to the tunes. You know, whatever we feel is if you know what yeah, for this for the mood that like, for the way the the flow of the tape is going, mm. we'll slap that on. Mm. I can't lie to you and be here like, yeah, we chose that because of this, we chose that because of that. I, I didn't, do you know what I'm trying to say? I just slapped it there because look, I know that's hard. But I personally think that's hard. Yeah. Hopefully the public will think that's hard. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we just go like that, man. So look, I feel as if this music thing's about chance. Mm. Like, I don't feel as if it's I don't feel as if there's a set formula. Like from day dot, we've never had a set formula. Yeah. Never. There ain't been no book, no plan, no nothing. We've just woke up, gone. Done team. Cool. Done. How long did it take you to make a tape? From start to finish? Start to finish, not long at all, probably like a month. A month? Yeah. To make a tape? Not long at all, probably like a month. Did, so no. at the start of the month did you think you had to make a tape and you focused that whole month on making the tape? No. Or did you have songs from before that month where you put in there? Yeah, probably yeah, we had bro, I've had songs from 2017 that are on that tape, bro. Okay, so that's what. Okay, so from what's the oldest song on there? Never over. And how long was it? How long was that? I made that in two thousand and seventeen. Because you know to say to make a tape in a month is magic, bro. Bro, bro Deep Block Europe just flipping released um their tape. How many yeah, months ago? Deep Europe for like up at the moment. Yeah, bro, it, but like, fam, up. It is. You got to work, man. Mm. You got to work, bro. It's here today, gone tomorrow. Okay. So, do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. You can be listening to something for the for the, for, the, for the, you can be listening to something. For three weeks, yeah, people get bored easily. People get bored easily in this day and age. Not true, true. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like you just gotta keep on working. You feel just keep on giving it to them, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So which which song of the tape was the longest to record, and which one was the quickest to record? Uh, or which one gave you the most headache and the least headache? Because right, I, I know getting features is a bit long sometimes, and the artists are busy as well. And do you know what? Yeah, the features on man's tape, yeah. So Park Hill, Young Fume, Burner, T, you know, so I'm gonna be so real because man's got a good relationship with every single one of them. Mm. Don't want no hassle, man. No straight like yo, bro. Can you come? Sorry, can you come to the studio? Yeah, man. Lay it down. Do you feel me? Yeah. Which is what I like. That's what that's what I respect about all them man there because they didn't give me no. Hassle, no stress, no nothing. They just, you know, when I needed them, they got up, they done it, man. Was there anyone that you shouted that said no? Was there anyone that I shouted that I said no? No, that they said no. Oh, that they said no? Yeah. Nah. No. Nah. Nah. Was there, was there anyone that shouted you saying, why didn't you shout them? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Nah, just, you, get, you feel me? Like, with this tape, yeah, I feel as if I, I spoke to brothers who, you know, Man, just got a good relationship with you. Feel me? And yeah. I respect them for that. You know? But then, how did you pick the features for it? Because the all the features are very different kind of artists. Yeah. So how did you pick? Cool. I want you in there. I want you in there. I want you in there. Bro, let me just be so real once again. Yeah, it was. It was. There was no set way. There was no set plan. I just said, look, Park Hill's hard. I want Park Hill on this tune. Yeah. Fume's hard. I want Fume on this tune. And so on and so forth. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say, I can't like, bro. There's no for me. There's no set formula way to do this thing. I'm just like, bro. Music for me is vibes. Mm. You understand? Yeah. I like to just have fun with it. Yeah. If I hear a song and I feel as if your yeah, bro's gonna sound hard and that, I'll be like, yo, do you come let's lay this down. So, yeah. You know. So if there's a beat, I feel as if yeah, bro, you're gonna sound hard and that. Do you think about it. numbers? Numbers. Like, how how the song do? Nah, man. I don't get why I always say that, bro. Like, I don't understand. In the bro, end, ah, cool. Let me give you the rule. If you're being real, yeah, you're, you're basically, you're working, isn't it? It's your job, isn't it? So you've got to care about the numbers because that gets you the peace. Oh, bro, ah, cool. Let me give it to you. Do you know what I'm saying? Right now. Like, is that me going to work and say, well, yeah, I don't care about I understand what you're saying. I'm 100%, yeah. But let's look at it like this, innit? If you go and look at my catalog on yeah. YouTube, yeah, bro, I've got stuff on there. Millions. Kinda, I've checked million. your your monthly foot, I've checked. You've got bro, you've got numbers. You feel me? But there's no way you can say that you don't but, care. But, about yeah, numbers. but if you look at recent stuff, yeah, yeah, bro, some stuff is not even touching all that, bro. It's taking ages to touch to hundred K. Yeah. Do you understand? Uh, okay, cool, I'll drop something and get to two hundred K quickly, you know what I'm saying? But bro, like, it's not necessarily about the numbers because look, as I keep dropping, yeah, I just see as consistency will come. Yeah. Like the consistency of people listening to you and people wanting to listen to your music will come. 
Do you understand? Does it frustrate you? Like, let's say one song does banging and the other yeah. one takes bare long to get half halfway there. Um, I or, guess, I guess let's say a song doesn't do as well as, as you thought it would do. Nah, frustration is the wrong word, man. I just, like, I, I feel as if, nah, frustration is the wrong word. For, it's, for me, it's more of a thing where, do you know what? Maybe they went, maybe, maybe it's just, it just, it just didn't do well with the other one. Like, maybe it's just a case of it just literally did do as well as the other one. So you never feel no type of way about it? I can't. Because me as a DJ, I know that I've dropped a mix and it's done madness, and I've dropped another mix thinking it'll do madness and it hasn't, and I felt pissed. Okay, but bro, if I cool, if I, if I drop a tune and it doesn't do well yet, what am I supposed to do? Sit on my ass and just be like, oh, soak. No, of course. Like, about it. Of course, you feel me? But when I've got to get back in that studio and jog, you know. Yeah. No cap, like I gotta get back in there and do my thing for real, and then drop the next banner and the next banner. So would you say the next one? If it if it doesn't do that well, it inspires you to go, go hard, hard the next film. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I got B. Let's talk about your upcoming UK tour next year. Come on. So what made you decide? Actually, first of all, this isn't your first tour, is it? Like, uh, obviously, tour. man's been on tour with, with M Huncho, isn't really? it? Yeah. Um, so he took me on tour in like April times. Yeah. Come on, love to my brother. Um, yeah. Sorry, say that again. Where did you go? We went to Nottingham, mm. Birmingham. Well, I did Nottingham, Birmingham, London. He had that like, so many other dates on there, but yeah, I just did Nottingham, Birmingham, and London. What was it like, bro? Wavy. Was that your first time on tour? Yeah. What happened on tour? <laughs> 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 okay, don't say that. Don't, don't, don't expose it. But was no, it bad? No, is that as bad as everyone thinks it is? No. Bro, trust me, trust me. Oh, man. Because I'm, I'm a host, isn't it? Like oh. a, a event host. So oh. I know when I go to do gigs, it's a bit mad, isn't it? And I'm nobody. <laughs> on tour, yeah, these men were all like, man, the men I'm not with, yeah, are just level headed, fam. Yeah. Just good people, good yeah. vibes, do you know what yeah. I'm trying to say? I don't think anybody's necessarily thinking about that at that moment in time. No one's thinking about groupies. Bro, like, come you don't think, I don't know what. Come on, on. no one's thinking about groupies. You don't think this Listen, is you might not, like, these girls, like, I know that they're dashing things at you on stage. You're talking about groupies. Me that I'm nobody, I'm getting girls trying to grab my dick on stage that you think bro. and you're, not, you're saying you're on You're getting that, yeah, bro. You, I don't know. Bro, Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? I'm getting that, you know. I swear, but hopefully one day you'll be. Okay. But no, um, um, but no, man, it's just it's calm, man. Just so you just go, do your set, bounce. and you go back to the hotel. I feel like you're bullshitting. That's cool. That's cool. We'll serve that. Okay, so you've chosen three big cities to do. You've done yeah. uh, Birmingham, London, and Manchester. Manchester. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why did you choose those three cities? Bro, that's what everybody. That's what everybody does. You feel me? So, nah. Well, I don't know, man. It's just obviously I spoke to a few individuals, like um, a couple of booking agents who I'm like working with to, you know, put the tour on and get things pattern for the tour. Yeah. Um, and you know, we came to the conclusion that that was so, the right thing to do. The right thing to do. Because cool. cool. those, those are three big cities who all have a number of big artists. Yeah. So yeah. I'm assuming some of those artists might contribute. Uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of artists. Yeah, yeah. But there's gonna be a lot of surprises on tour. Mm-hmm. So is that for all three cities or? Because yeah, you know, because I'm, I'm in the Afrobeat industry, so yeah. I don't know when it comes to Afrobeat. Yeah. London's the only, not only, but London's the city where everyone makes sure that everything's patterned up. Yeah, see? yeah, yeah. Like yeah the yeah. other cities are just there to collect your peas. Yeah, like yeah, London yeah. is there, like, you've got to pattern that one up. So. No, no, but come on, bro. Like, you have to think about it. It's not just London people that are listening to my music. No, of course not. But it's still yeah. Afrobeat, though. It's still London that yeah, you're making Yeah, I know, but it's like, I've definitely got to give back to all my supporters who have been supporting me from flipping Scotland to yeah. flipping. Oh, to to Bournemouth, you feel me? I've got to give back to all of them. You know what I'm trying to say? On the topic of Scotland and Bournemouth, how come you're only doing three cities then? Why not do more? Because, um, bro, I can't lie, I checked your team, do my research and that. Your numbers are good. No, I appreciate and Your numbers are better than most of these UK artists. No, I appreciate it. I, appreciate I personally it. hadn't heard of you. Yeah. I do my research and yeah. I was like, wow, this guy is not a small boy in the game. No, I appreciate it. So to see you only doing three cities, yeah. when I've seen artists yeah. with less songs, yeah. One artist has three songs that all sound the same. Yeah. That's all he's got. Doing an entire UK tour, but you're yeah. only three cities. Why did you choose three cities? I just feel as if at this, you know, at this stage that so anti uh, are at right now. I feel as if that's just the right thing to do. Mm. Um, you never know. Maybe we could have done, you know, not in six them. days. Yeah, not today. Maybe we could have done ten days. You never know. Yeah. But I feel as if you know, let's just. It's a gradual thing. You get me. It's a. Um, you get me. It's just. Well, we'll get there. You feel me? We'll so that's why we'll add, add more dates and that. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. 
Let's talk about um, the lifestyle. The lifestyle. Of your artists. Yeah. Obviously, I see your glam, you're just forever in designer. Yeah. Feel Even me. Even today, man's got Balenciaga on. Forever, forever like, uptown. The, the Feel me. Off white, like, <laughs> man's coming through like, yeah, yeah, I've got peas. Forever making sure so you don't know that it's got peas. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, do you feel like a lot of UK artists, especially I feel like the younger ones, are more concerned about studying rather than investing? Um, uh, they ain't the man I've seen your rap. Mm. <laughs> well, I feel as if, yeah, if as, as coming from somebody uh, who's for the youth, yeah, um, who's trying to you know build and make and just you know help build opportunities within our you know yeah. industry yeah. for people that are coming up, I would definitely advise that you know investing your money into. Yeah. A lot of things, not even just music, just but there's so many other things yeah, to do yeah. in this life. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Not everybody has to be a footballer yeah. or a musician yeah. or you know something to do with entertaining somebody else. Do you yeah. know what I'm trying to say? There's so many other things you know us, you know, young people can do to basically you know better ourselves and you know make better ways in our life. So is, is that what you're doing, investing in that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've invested in a few things myself personally. But I'm sure you know that there's a lot of artists in the UK who don't invest, who when they get their first big rap, they want to go and buy a Merc or buy a hell of designer in that. Um, I can't speak for them, man. Okay. I can't. So, but for you, it's more about investing. For me, it's just, look, I've got, I've got family, mm. you know, I've got my brothers who, you know, depend on me to, you know, do well yeah, and understand. get to where I need to go. Yeah. And it's like, we will get there. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So I feel as if the most important thing for me personally is just to make sure that my people are scraped with film. Mm. So, yeah, man, I can't really, that's basically that on that. Cool, cool. You know? So did you see me say about the whole Juice World thing? Juice World, Juice World. Yeah, RIP Juice World. I like that. I mad. I see Juice World. That's so mad. Have you heard the alleged story of what happened? Uh, yeah, I saw some stuff on the net. Said about his about uh, stuff in the play and this and this and this and this and this and this From what I understood about that is like yeah. most of that stuff on there wasn't his. It was his boys. But then he ended up taking the the, the biggest fall for it. Right. So now that you're seen in the limelight, do you watch more carefully who you roll with? Do you know what? Yeah. Because you know if someone gets patted for something, the Fed's going to come after you because you're the big one who's saying let me let me just say this now because I feel as if the man didn't deserve it in it, but I couldn't be more grateful for the for the friends and the people that I've got around me, man. Because yeah. you know where I don't know it's it's, it's mad for because where where I'm from, where I grew up here, yeah, I guess we all grew up together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The brothers, the like brothers. 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 One person can go chat to one person, another person can go chat to another person. It's like, if one of my brethren yeah, that you might see me about with, mm. is, that's with me all the time, he may not be with me yeah. right now, but he'll be with another brother that, you know, that is just from my area, just that, like, we're just all cool, like, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's good, we have a good, how do I say we have a good bond? You know what I'm trying to say? We've all got good relationships. But the thing is that, like, growing up here, yeah, like, most, most, like male groups or mm-hmm. male friends or mm-hmm. brothers or whatever. Yeah. There's always that one mad guy in it growing up in it. So yeah. obviously now that you're more in the line now, yeah. don't you feel like you have to be more cautious of who you chill with? Like that, that one mad guy never grows up, he's I'm, still a mad guy. Like. I'm always cautious, I'm always cautious. I'm just I'm just like I'm you, aware. you can't get your shit to say like, I'm aware, you know what I'm trying to say? But it's just like I tell you right now, yeah. The man that you see me with here, yeah, bro, I've known them for 10, 15 plus years, mm. straight. Yeah. Like, I'm not even, that's no bullshit, you know what I'm trying to say? I've known yeah. them for that long, mm. you know? I'm not necessarily a fan of, I know people say, yeah, no new friends, no new friends, all yeah. of that stuff, yeah. you know what I'm trying to say? But yeah, yeah. look, once again, I'm a man that goes on vibes. Mm. If you've got the great, if you've got a good energy, if you've got a good vibe, if your head's screwed on, I'm gonna fuck with you. you know so let, let, let's say on your tour, mm-hmm. like, well, come one or two of your boys mm-hmm. brought some shit they weren't supposed to be. Like, how would you react to that? If my boys, sorry? One of, your, one, one or two boys brought some stuff they weren't meant to be on the tour. Bro. How would you react to that? The man, them are around bringing stuff that they're not meant to bring anyway. <laughs> <laughs> majority of the time, you feel me? So, yeah. it's like, bro, it's just... But that's what I'm talking about. Don't you feel like you've got a pattern there, bro? Because let's say, especially when you go, like, for example, London, let's be real, the yeah. feds, they're always watching us, I'm saying. Yeah. Like, especially when we do our kind of shows. Yeah. They always look, any reason to shut it down, yeah. they're going to jump on it. Understood, understood. So, don't you feel like... That's where, you know, we when it gets to that, you know, for example, shows and stuff like that, if, like, when it gets to that, restrictions, um, I mean, like, we, we'll talk about these things. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? If, you know, you can't bring certain things, you can't bring certain things, make sure your pattern, make sure, you know what I'm trying to say? Just, look, the man, they're not, they're not stupid. 
what I'm trying to say? They know they know right from wrong, do you know what I'm trying to say? So yeah. when it gets to certain situations, they will know themselves how to conduct themselves. So yeah, yeah, but the thing is, every, most people know right from wrong, but most people think they can get away with it. Bro, listen, honestly, yeah, we're not telling you that about my guys, that like my, my friendship group, yeah. yeah. You probably think, oh, this guy is just chatting that, but bro, I've got really good friends. Like, I'm, yeah. not even jo- I'm not even joking, like, I've got really, a really good friendship group. You know what yeah. I'm trying to say? These men, like, I count on you. Like, these are my brothers. Mm. It's more, it's more, it's deeper than just friendship. Do you know yeah. what I'm trying to say? But look, like you said, I understand about the whole, you know, faking and people turning on you and all of that stuff. But yeah. like I said, I see, it's not even about people turning like, what I'm trying to say, like, I hear what you're saying. Like, the thing is, when you've grown up with men then, from like the age of like yeah. 10 or whatever, that yeah. bond will forever be strong. Yeah. But then when you get to a position when the eyes are on you, yeah. if you've got that one friend that is a bit mad, you've got a, Patting them up. If you're not patting up, then what do you do? Well, because I've got a couple of friends that have been mad. I'm a bit mad. <laughs> so, well, look, I can't. Imagine, because you can't say I'm going to be loyal to him because I've known him since I was 10. So, let's say he's always um, yeah. bringing madnesses to, to you, like, yeah. always drama. You've got to do shows, he's beefing somebody, or yeah. this, that, this, that. Yeah. You can't put up with it all the time because he's your boyfriend when you were 10. Well, I'll be real, I've, I haven't experienced that yet, man. So, I can't necessarily speak on. I've not experienced one of my guys doing a madness, you know, and it's gonna um, be detrimental yeah. to me. I haven't experienced that yet. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie. So yeah, when I get to that, okay, we'll go from there. You feel me? Okay, okay, okay. You know what you can say. So obviously, I said before that obviously I've been creating your social and doing my research and that. I know you're not really that active on Insta. No. So I saw um, a post, I think it was a Twitter or something by Emac. He was like, oh yeah, most artists don't actually want to be active on social just because you have to be because yeah. of the game you're in, isn't it? Yeah. Is that how you feel? Uh, kind of. 50-50. Uh, for me, before music, I didn't have no socials. No Snapchat, no Instagram, no, no Twitter, no line. Yeah. Before, just off the net. Yeah. Um, but I guess with music, you definitely need to have socials because... How else are you gonna put the club with the fans in there? Feel me? How else are you gonna put your stuff out there? Yeah. Me, I won't lie to you. I am very poor with it. Do you understand? Hence the name. Hence the name D One So Aggy. Hence the name So Aggy. Like, yeah. That's just me, yeah. the man, them in a nutshell. That's I'm just poor with it. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? I do want to get better with it, and I will get better with it. Yeah. You know, like interacting with supporters and stuff and that more. Yeah. You know, but. I don't know, man. I just feel as if some people got it, some yeah. people don't. You yeah. feel me? I just feel as if I'm one of the ones that don't. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Like, social media is very techy for me, man. I try. You yeah. understand? I try. You know? From where my followers were before to now, it's progression. Like, it's progression. You're you're I'm trying to say, but man, that ain't nothing, man. It's all good. DM's popping. <laughs> DM's popping? Yeah. Nah. Why this guy's full of shit, man? Nah. Nothing happens at all. DMs ain't popping. Why are you lying? Bro, no, bro, no cap, you know. Bro, <laughs> no, seriously, like, it's not, man. You feel me? My DMs pop and I'm nobody! Bro, you're a pop, bro. Why are you lying? Bro, <laughs> I think you got pop, you know. I swear, bro, it's just, I'm not, it's quiet in there, man. You yeah. feel me? It's quiet in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the love of the lie, right? That's the love of the lie. Okay, so where can people get the tickets for your tour, then? Um, Ticketmaster. Mm, are they out? Yeah, they're out right now. You can yeah. get out of Ticketmaster. Uh, if you just type in D1 uh, UK Tour mm. on Google, it will come up before me. Or you can just go on the link um, on my Instagram, mm. my Twitter. You go on either one of them and you'll find the ticket somewhere. You know cool. what I'm I've got a really interesting question for you. I don't know how you're going to answer this, because yeah. hearing your inspirations, like you said, you said Migos from the floor of Versace. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's, that's deep. I know yeah. what you mean by that. Yeah, yeah. But you're a UK based artist. Yeah. So everyone's talking about the UK's having a great The UK's having a great year. Yes, amazing. Amazing. Basically, yeah, everyone, bad people doing madness. And it's only going to get better. But would you, would you say that we are at a point part where we can compete with the Americans? Not in terms of numbers, just yeah. quality. Let's talk about the quality of music. Yeah, let me be so raw. I don't think it's a competing team. It um, is, man. I don't think it's competing. It what, are we, what are we competing? Not, not necessarily competing, but yeah. like, end of the day, people want to be the best.